Monday. It's felt like Monday all week long. I know. I think because it's been rainy and dreary, gray, and hey, yeah. Hey guys! Oh my gosh, I can't believe this month's over. Do you guys remember when we used to say that like all the time? I mean, it's not technically over. It's, we still it's have. It's getting there. We still have like a week left in July. But being in Alabama, I'm not sad to see these hot months go because we walk outside and we melt into a puddle, you guys. It's not it's, cute. It's like frozen like. <laughs> yeah, we're snowing. In summer! Yeah, yeah. We, we melt. Basically. We thought that we would share with you guys some of the products that we feel like are favorites, worth the hype, worth the money. You need to go check it out because we can't live without them. Well, for my particular ones that I have chosen, we've tried some new products recently in some videos. So I have some new favorites that I've gotten out of my a few of my old ruts. So that's exciting to see. It is exciting and to see. So if you're excited about this video, and we know you are, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. We have lots of fun giveaways happening. So check below. Oh my Our gosh. back to school giveaways happening. Link is down below and we'll address some of them you know throughout the video because like they're so exciting we cannot tell you about them are you ready to kick it off i'm so ready that's me kicking <sighs> i'm kicking it. yeah okay <laughs> okay guys so we're gonna start the video with our first item which is actually a subscription to a fragrance subscription yes huge thanks to scentbird for sponsoring this video we've worked with them in the past and we love their service because if you know us we love perfume. We do. In fact, in our office here, we constantly are talking about each of our perfumes, what we're wearing, and smelling each other. Yes. Because <laughs> we are that obsessed with perfume. Yes. So if you don't know, Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that gives you these really cool travel style fragrances, and you can like date a perfume and see if you love it, and if you're ready to commit to that full size. Then you can then you can marry it. If, yeah. If you like it. But it's really cool because we change our perfumes off. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Awesome. It's awesome. That we, we change, change our it. perfumes often. And if you see our collection, that's not a big perfume collection is not something for everyone. But right. in fact, a lot of mine goes to waste. Right. And this is a great way to have a lot of perfume without letting it go to waste. Because I know I like switching it up because throughout the year, you know, whatever the season is, I don't want the same scent mm -hmm. for the summer months that I do in the like really cold, cozy months. I want a different fragrance. So it's yeah. nice to be able to switch it up and not be spending 60, 70, 80 dollars or more for a whole bottle of perfume. Yeah. So they have over 450 designer and niche. I can't say that word. I know. I'm like, perfume. Is it, niche? Is it niche? niche? I don't know. They have a lot of perfumes for you they to do. choose from. It comes in this fun little tube that you can twist up to spray and twist down to like keep in your bag so it doesn't spray. And, and we love the travelability of that. Also, Stephanie loves to touch up her perfume throughout the day. So it's protected. I worry about the roller balls breaking. They're glass. It's so bad. I don't yeah. even think about it. So this is protected. But you can pop it open and you can slide it out to see the label so you know if you have more than one of these you can know which perfume you have mm -hmm. and you can also see if you're getting low on it you get more in this than a rollerball or about the same or about the same it for... depends on which rollerball true because they will get you with that <laughs> for half the price side note when i have a rollerball i don't feel like the fragrance really is as powerful do you know what i mean yes I like a spray, so when I can find a spray, like a spray, I'm obsessed with it. So these are all sprays, so that's another bonus, Jonas. Okay, so we're gonna tell you which ones we picked. My favorite thing about it is going for those new perfumes that you're not sure yet. And a rollerball could set you back $25 to $30. Yeah. 15. And you can get new ones each month, so you're always like switching it up, having a new fragrance. And they also let you upgrade your account so you can get two to three per month too. So like if you're like- You really mm. like it. So my first one, and this pretty blue one, is the Prada Candy Floral. I don't know how to say that. I love the original Prada candy, so I wanted I love to all see. The Prada candies. Yeah, I wanted to see if I liked any of the other ones. And I'll spray them in the store, but that's not enough for me. I need to wear it. And you need see. a trial run. Yeah, I do. I need to see what the like middle notes are and the dry mm -hmm. down and just like how it changes because perfumes wear differently on different people. Yeah, there's a perfume in this office that yes. there's one that it smells completely different on her than it does on me. And she's like, I love it when you wear it, but when I wear it, it doesn't work for me. Right. That's another great thing is you can know if it's going to be something that's going to work with your body chemistry or whatever. When you first spray it, you get more of the floral, but mm -hmm. it dries down to this really sweet candy yumminess. So I, I'm really glad I got to try this one. The first one that I have is one that I lusted after in, I believe, a magazine, and it is the Michael Kors Wonderlust. Has a bit of a spicy, like my typical kind of perfume when you first spray it. Right. But it kind of dries down to a little bit of a floral, which if you were liking this perfume and wanting to buy it and you didn't like floral and you didn't realize it had floral in it, this is a great way to find out that, hmm, like I probably don't need to spend 
spend almost $100 in that perfume right. when you don't love it. Yeah. I'm not saying I don't love it, but if you're that person that has things that you don't like. Well, see, my thing with the Prada Candy Floral, at first I thought it was really floral, and I was like, that's not for me. But what it settles into is it's good. so good. So yeah. I'm glad that I got to try it because now I know that I like it. Okay, my next one is the Glossier U. Now, this one, I'm really glad. It's been the topic of conversation like all week. Multiple days this week, everyone in the office, it's the Glossier U. Now, the description of this fragrance is something like a couple of the notes and then it's like, and the, the last ingredient is you because it transforms into something different on every person. Yeah. On me, it has this like kind of musky, it's gonna sound really different, but like a bookish, library-ish, I can't describe it any other way than that when I first spray it. Then it turns into this really soft, clean, fresh showered, just a pretty soft scent that I feel like would be nice layered. Yeah. On Maddie, it has this like almost masculine tone a little bit yeah. to it. Or like it could go either way. And yeah. I just, I really I like it on her. I don't remember what it smelled like on me. It was it's different on everyone. Yeah, it's been fun to try it on I everyone. I want to try it again today because I yeah. feel like I haven't gotten a good Yeah, I've been I've it. been wearing it every day. I think You've been fun. wearing it? Yeah, I don't have it on today, but yeah. I I've didn't been... realize you've been wearing it. Mm -hmm. She's like yeah. throughout the day like, it's changing. It does, <laughs> it does, it changes. Okay, my next one is a favorite of mine and Tracy actually owned this perfume, mm -hmm. so I knew I wanted it, but because I have so many perfumes, I was excited to just have it in a smaller right. amount because I can't lose all my perfumes. This one, I'm gonna butcher this. Okay, this is... Comptoir. Comptoir Sud Pacifique Apricot vanille. vanille. I don't know, it's all fancy It's fruit basically fruit. like vanilla apricot and what I can describe it as and what a lot of people have described it as is basically like like liquid candy. Even though it has vanilla apricot scents in it, you're mostly getting vanilla and candy. It has like goodness. a cotton candy, dream sickly yumminess. I love it so much. I like all of the Comptoir scents. Same. We first discovered it, just the vanilla. Just yeah. the vanilla, vanilla, whatever. And it smells like cupcakes and just sweet cake batter yumminess. So then we both bought the coconut the one. The coconut one. And then we mix them and do like, our I mix vanilla it and do like a I vanilla do. coconut in the summertime. It smells like you're at the beach. Good. So good. I haven't used all my summer perfumes this year. You picked just one. It's a good this one. This one. Speaking of, if you, you want to pick just one, we have a coupon code where you can get your first month for $10. It's 30% off, you guys. I mean, why wouldn't you? And the code is ELG30. We'll have the link down below where you can click it. Go check it out. Tell us what you guys think. If you've used Semper before, what are some of your favorite fragrances? They have so many to choose from. I think they do like a featured fragrance of the month. Mm -hmm. So this month is the Philosophy Amazing Grace. And they have a lot of fun fragrances too, the Philosophy brand. So I mean. I know. I like it because they have scents for everyone. Like the Amazing Grace is more of a clean, floral, fresh scent. Mm -hmm. But then they have. That they, cashmere that, lace or cashmere something. And there was, there was like a love. It was something love. Falling mm -hmm. in love or true love. I don't know. Or... We loved it and we were obsessed with it and that yeah. was more our scent. I so. want to know your guys' favorite perfumes down below because for us, you know we love trying new fragrances and Scentbird is an awesome way to do that. So let us know down in the comments. Check it out. Link, coupon code, all of it. All right, where do you want to start with our next favorite? Makeup? This is the joint favorite for us. Do you want to talk oh, about yeah, it? Oh, yeah, yeah, All right, this is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Muse. Muse. I'm not wearing it today, but it's very similar to what I'm wearing today, but even better. And I know we were talking about the perfumes and the beach. This makes me think of the beach. I was walking around letting everyone smell yeah. it. Yeah. Isn't this the beach? It's like, like, it's like sunscreen. Yes, but it like, smells like sunscreen. And I don't know how we didn't get that the first time when we used it, but no, it just smells tropical-y. It's good. It's just tropical-y yumminess. Stuff. The formula is really good. It was our first Huda Beauty lip product we've ever used and it's got a comfortable finish. The color's gorgeous. If you've been afraid of liquid lipsticks, try give this one. one a try because I just feel like it's different than any other one. I've out there. been using this. This and my Stila. I bought them around the same time, like not too far between each other, yeah. but my Stila ones are my, my fight. But those two, and they're very similar colors, but this is a good formula. I'll talk about what's on my lips. This is a favorite. It is one you've heard me talk about, but a favorite nonetheless, and it is my Milani. I started rocking it again, the matte naked. She goes with that one in phases. Uh-huh, like I'll get on something. I've been wearing the, that's excited. She goes like that. She like, like <laughs> the Bare Minerals Dolly, but I think they're discontinuing it. So I kind of want to savor it, remove my love a little bit and like get back on the Milani naked, matte naked. So for a second I thought you had false lashes on. No, but, but I have a favorite to talk about for that. Yes. <laughs> 
was like uh, for a second it kind of looked like you had like a little mm, like that makes me happy individual we'll lash. talk about it just wait for we'll it we'll talk about it mm -hmm. okay we're gonna keep it simple i've got a lot of keep new it things simple silly i love this one this one like shakes this is from tarte and it's not necessarily really this particular one i'm just obsessed with these tarte blushes in general mm -hmm. this is just the one i'm loving of the moment right so i'm not saying run to grab this one but just if you can find a good color that you like in the amazonian is amazonian color Client, mm -hmm, 12 hour blush yeah. they're just my favorite they're good blushes they're you guys really good it's just a good natural color fairy flushes kind of like explode exposed <laughs> It's, it's exposed. Yeah, that's the one I used to use. Yeah, exposed. In fact, that makes it's like a slightly softer pink than the exposed. Yeah. Exposed goes a little more mauvey. Yeah, dark, yeah. deeper. Yeah. I've got one, another one in my bag right now, but I can't remember which one it was. I love the packaging though. Yeah. This is what I was talking about, the Buxom and Dolly. I'm scared they're discontinuing this, and I just really hope that they're not. I'm gonna cry. Okay, I'm gonna cry. This is something you would have seen in a recent haul slash a get ready with me, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I put it on in that, I think. This is the Dior Lip Glow color. Color Reviver Balm. And what I really like about this is it feels so much better than any of the like products that tend to like give your lip that or this is a weird thing about like what's going on with your lips and what the color changes into. I love the way it smells, I love the way it feels. I just really like this. I want to try other colors of it. So if you guys have a favorite color in this Dior Lip Glow Let us sister um, know. Yeah, tell us. This is in number 007 <laughs> uh, Raspberry. Got so much makeup, you guys. Okay. Hmm. This is the new Glam Glow. I think it's just the Glow Palette. I'm not sure, but it's got a really cool like. This is, it's been in my makeup bag. It's not too dirty. It's not Where you bad. open it, it looks kind of dirty. Yeah, because my hands always have foundation on yeah. it. And I open it. I gotta yeah. fix that. Which color do I like most? Uh, the middle one. <laughs> There it is. It's three colors. I've really only been using the center one because, you know, Tracy always wanted me to do a gold highlight. When she and goes too when icy. When it goes icy, it looks not healthy. Yes. And this looks so much better and it's not even that gold. It's pretty good. It's so good. It's good. It's good. It's I need good. you to try this because I think we need to get, like, I think we need multiple ones. Oh yeah, because you just took it. You're like, I, well, well, how I you use know, highlight. What? Tracy doesn't. Like, yeah. I mean, it would go to waste with you. But like, I think you need it. It's really good. But like, you need highlight. I'm just saying, you need it. It looks so good. Yes, Gaga. Mm -mm. You don't like highlight? I don't know. <laughs> it's more like that extra step that for me is maybe like, it's just one step. I like the smell of this. Too much. When I'm putting it on, it smells so. like vanilla. All about those brands putting the scent up in their products. Me too. You guys. Like, you want me to buy your stuff? Make it scented. Mm -hmm. I mean, hello, we just talked about how much we love the way perfume, you know, like. Yes. All about it. But it's, it's a really it's, good it's gold amazing. highlight. So you know how there are highlights that are like really pigmented and they're ones that are are not good and then there are ones that seem like they're so-so but when you're like putting on your skin it almost like blends into your skin so seamlessly yeah that it just works that's yeah that. that's that it's my favorite highlight i've had in a long time okay speaking of my false lashes they're my real lashes and you curl your lashes no okay i'm just making sure it's this the mascara it's this mascara it is the it cosmetics superhero mascara i have been wearing this mascara stank out of it the stank out of it and you guys know that we don't really like to push higher and mascaras because there are a lot of drugstore ones that we love. I have fallen slightly out of love with the Maybelline Big Shot. I loved it for so long. I just reached my time with it where like I'm like okay let's try something I new. have a legitimate issue with it. It was transferring. Yeah. And I don't know if there was a formula change. I don't know what was going on but I was getting smudges yeah. on the lower whatever and it like had I never been an that. issue. Like yeah. Did, not on me. I mean I'm fe on I me. feel like I was looking at you right. and it. So I have not been using the Big Shot and I'm real sad because I love what it did for my lashes. Yeah. It's a good mascara. This for me is the poo. To take a big whiff. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I repurchased this. Yeah, I love it so much. I repurchased this. I have a backup at home. So that's how I know that like I love it and I don't want to be without it. This is my favorite mascara of the month. It's funny because I picked it out to go in today's, but like today I started having different feels about it. So I feel like it is a good natural mascara, if you yeah. know what I mean. Like touch my lashes. I don't mean to get weird or anything, but like they don't feel like they have oh, much of hair anything in them. Like they bend, they don't feel crunchy, but I'm also, how do my lashes feel? I mean, I can see more product on your lashes yeah. than I feel like I can see on mine. Yeah. I feel like it's yours just, almost has a more defining look to it. Yeah. It's like not a lot of product, so it doesn't build volume. It just kind of defines. And lengthens. Yeah. It definitely does not curl them up like I want them to. I don't know. It's an unsure. I might like the Kush mascara better yeah. than this, but like drugstore wise, this has been a good one for me. Yeah. It hasn't transferred. It hasn't crumbled. crumbled. It's easy to apply. There you go. I'm not mad at it. I think it's been a while since I've used 
used Lash Blast mascaras because I did the Big Shot for so long right. that I don't know what I liked about them, so mm -hmm. I'm rediscovering them. I'm gonna talk about a couple skincare products, and I'm gonna put these together because technically they're both exfoliators, but they're different. One's a physical exfoliator, one's a chemical exfoliator, okay? My okay. physical exfoliator right? that I'm really enjoying is the Bliss Micro Magic, and it's spa-powered microdermabrasion treatment. It has volcanic pumice and soothing aloe effectively and gently resurface, smooth, and renew. I dang love this stuff. I think you can get it at Kohl's. I think maybe you can get it at Target. Not totally sure all the places you can get it. I just really like this. My cheeks get some roughness on it. This is my favorite place. I feel like these work the best for that, okay? Then for chemical, I love my Drunk Elephant. This is the TLC Glycolic Night Serum. It's, we didn't get that, right? No, we got the baby facial, but it's the same ingredient. Yeah. This is 12% and it's 20%. So it's a treatment that like you don't do all the time. Right, so this you put on at night before you go to bed. Is that one like a once a week thing? Well, yes, but it, you put it on for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a mask. Put it on for 20 minutes and then you rinse it off. Okay. So it's a little bit more intense. I think it's 20 or 25%. It says refine, retexturize. It gently lifts away dead skin cells. It improves the appearance of your skin tone, texture, fine lines, wrinkles, and pores. What I really like for this is unclogging all of that gross Nest. congested skin down here on my chin area. These physical ones don't really help me for that. I've got to go a little bit deeper with the chemical. I need to work on my skin right here. I think you should try, try I this. get right here what like I think you get right, right. here. Like a little tiny like mm -hmm. hard to take care of bumps. Right. I get the little like clogged pore so white head here. type you know where like it never really turns into a zit if you try to squeeze it it just kind of the little white stuff comes out. I can up here too don't I? A little bit yeah. When I get in my magnified mirror I'm like ooh. Because I don't really get it on my forehead. Mine's all through here. And then I get these though a little bit. here. I'm there. telling you try this. The Drunk Elephant TLC. Well, I need to purchase it first. Well I know you need to get it. I'm telling you it's worth it. I will repurchase. This is my first one but I got it in a fun little kit. The Acid Trip kit from Sephora. No regrets. No raw grass. Yeah. We have purchased to retry, or I did, he didn't. No, I didn't. I, yeah, I did not. The Born This Way Foundation by Too Faced in the color Nude. And I was talking about thinking Nude was a new color and one said they'd always had it. I think there was a color in between this one and the one I had before, and I thought I was gonna get that one. That and was a new shade. Yeah. But I ended up getting this one. But a chunk of the times we're tanning, like. We'll talk about our favorite. Yeah. I don't know. I've just, I've been trying to give it a fair chance. I've been wearing it every day. I don't know what you think about it Do on my face. you have it on today? I have it on today. Did I've, you wear it yesterday? I've worn it every single day. I've been thinking your skin look good and okay. pretty and okay. your foundation was I working. have just been every single day wearing this and it feels so much y'all I'm gonna get like struck by lightning. It feels so much better than my L'Oreal Pro Glow currently in summer. I think that maybe I will be better with the Pro Glow in the winter time. When you're not. When I'm not as like hot, sweaty, greasy. Right. It's not a matte. Like it's a just a natural. Matte it's a natural like a finish. Satin kind of. finish. Yeah. yeah. And I love it. And I'm so sad that I didn't really use it before because like it. The color we had was way yellow. Yeah, but I'm sad I didn't go back and try to figure it out. Yeah. I really am. I did have trouble with this coming off at the end of the day until I started using the powder that I will talk about next. Yeah. I'm gonna talk about our favorite self tanning product that has been a go to like we even got our mom to buy it one of my biggest pet peeves with self tanner is I'm not very good at applying it yes and I always end up streaky brown toes brown fingers like just All like all over my hands smudginess everywhere real batter on my wrist yes. area elbows yes. knees mm -hmm. back. head shoulders knees and toes yes so this is the and I keep it in the plastic bag that it comes in it's not something when the mitt's wet that I want it to like get on stuff I think you can technically throw this in the washer to wash it Definitely. it hasn't affected anything I'll also, I just stick them. That's what I do. So I prop mine on my counter and I put that over it. Oh. And like well, I'm not using it. If I'm not yeah, using it, I, I just stick it, it all back in here because I don't want it to get on anything. Yeah. This is the Tarte Brazilliance Plus Self Tanner. What I love about this is it's kind of like. And we liked their previous self tanner too. The, the like, one in the white yeah, and purple bottle. The one that looks like the Amazonian clay packaging. But I feel so. like it went darker. It goes darker, but we did like the formula of that yes. one before we found this one. Yes. This one to me is a little bit more foolproof, user friendly. I just will dispense it on the mitt. And I know it says even strokes. I just rub in. Yeah. I just go to town rubbing in. And you, can, it, you can see it. You can tell yes. when you're messing up. Yeah, it has a tint to it. Like so gel. you know where you've put the product and where you need to add more. Yeah. I can still see just a little bit on my hands. I used this on Saturday. It smells really good when you put it on. Towards the Not end of it. Not like the way it smelled after I got done. I was like, what do I smell like? And he goes, I don't know. 
I don't know, like cherry fruity. He said, he said creamsicle fruit something. Yeah, it's got like a really dark color, so don't be afraid of it. I love the way it smells. It does turn, I'm not gonna lie to you, it does turn into that self tan scent, especially like if you go spray tan. Yeah. The scent from spray tans, it does get that at the end, like at the yeah. seven, eight hour mark, you start to smell that a little usually bit. Usually I'm sleeping, so I wake up, yeah. wash it off, and I don't smell it. If you love your sheets, don't sleep in your sheets, because I feel like I got a little bit of it on my sheets. And for me, what I like to do is on a Saturday or Sunday, if I'm not doing much that day, I'll take a shower, put it on, and then I'll rinse it off before bed. Comes with a mitt and this. It's a little pricey. It is a little bit but pricey, but it. if you're someone who does spray tans or is that whatever. your second one or your first one? I think this is my first. Because I've gone through two. I took a little bit to get into it because you guys know I'm a lazy person, but the payoff on this is so good. Like Stephanie asked me yesterday, she was like, did you reapply the tan? And I was like, no, it just still looks that good. Yeah. I'm a lazy person. This takes like 10 minutes, maybe not even. Hmm. I was talking about, and I think it was a Birchbox first Ipsy, the fact that I like the, yeah, the Benefit Professional for yeah. blurring stuff. Yeah. And then somebody said that if I liked that, I would like the Cover FX blurring primer. It's in our giveaway. Oh, speaking of giveaway, you guys, and uh, we'll just, use this opportunity to tell you right I now. I didn't even mean to segue. <laughs> it's perfect. Uh, okay, so we are doing a gigantic makeup giveaway on our boutique Instagram, Madison and Mallory, and we'll have it linked down below. We're giving away $2,500 worth of makeup and $500 to our store, Madison and Mallory. We have entered the boutique awards and we would love if you guys would vote for us. It's just a one-time vote. Yeah, you don't have to do it daily. It's just one-time vote. The instructions on how to enter the giveaway with the vote are on the Instagram. But just to tell you guys, we'll have the link down below where you can vote. So if you don't, like it's easier if you go to the Instagram, you can see everything, but we'll have a link. There are three categories you can vote for us and you have to select all three categories before you put your email address in and vote. Or else it won't let you go back and vote. Right, so it's one, three, and six. Yes. So one One is, and three are the most important. One is overall, overall boutique. boutique. And that's just for Alabama. Just for Alabama. Three is online boutique. For Alabama. For Alabama. And six is global winner. So like, all, all over, over the world. So like we're really hoping for overall boutique. Honestly, any of it would be awesome. And we mentioned in our, I think it was our last video, yeah. our Birch Fester Zipsy. We wouldn't be here without you guys. So your support means everything to us. And we just love what we're doing with our boutique right now. It's a really fun part that we didn't know that YouTube and everything would kind of go into that. So it's, it's been really fun. fun. And I mean, we say we didn't know it would go into that, but like way back in the day, we had our jewelry store. Yes. And it was a sticking our toe in the water. But we didn't know we were gonna come back to it. No. And I'm and, happy we did. In fact, I believe mom was always the one that said we should go back to it. Yes, she did. She was always like, have you thought about doing the store stuff again? I want to do like a big Q&A on it. And I don't know if that would be like through a live stream on our exclusives Facebook group, which we'll have a link down below. It's a private group where we do live streams and we sell exclusive items. And we're just having a, a lot of fun. Yeah, it's, it's a fun. really fun community that Positive a lot of you community. guys are part of. Yeah. I love it because some of you guys will post pictures of things on. And so many people will give you guys feedback. Like you'll have like 20, 30 comments of just like, oh my God, you look so cute. Yeah. And it's so fun see that like positive girl power. Yeah, it's a really fun place for us. So if you guys would take just a few minutes to vote for us, it would mean a lot to us. We'll have the link down below as well as our Instagram where you can go see all the makeup goodies we're giving away. It's a pretty dang good giveaway. I'm just We saying. had fun putting it all together. Yeah. Like me, Tracy, Maddie, and Aaron all pulled together that makeup yeah. for the giveaway. It was, it was fun. So primer, that was what we were talking about. Cool. <laughs> we're also, we said we were doing the back school giveaway. Oh yeah, video. huge That's back down to below. school giveaway. Also. Okay, talking about the foundation, the Ste Stila. Mm. Too Faced. This is the powder that I've been using lately and it is, it is the Urban Decay. I just think about so many spit particles hitting it. A bleh, a bleh. <laughs> it's the Urban Decay Waterproof Setting Powder All Nighter. I mean, it's a pretty intense powder. Like I wouldn't even call it a lightweight powder because it's not really a lightweight powder. Like, I mean, it's a powder. Yeah. And not usually one to set my whole face because of being dry, but with the foundation and the powder together, like I don't, it's a good combo. I don't feel like I end up looking cakey or anything. No. Mm -mm. It's just really good. There you go. Good I love combo. the packaging of all of my favorites right now. I've been using They're that one cute. at home, but not like keeping it in my bag. Yeah. But do you like it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a good powder. I don't even really use the all-nighter spray, which is casually sitting here. Mm, casual. It's uh, from using it in a video. I don't really even use sprays, but I like the powder a lot, a lot. Okay, I have two shampoo or like hair shampoo? things. First one is a yummy, delicious, it's kind of hard to see if it blends in, but this one smells so Wait, good. What, you like the the OGX? I'm I'm shook. Up. We had that gumdrop one for that like Christmas limited love edition. I loved that stuff. It yeah. was really good. I have tried one other OGX product that made my hair feel real bad. I guess it was just the wrong formula for me. This one is a silicone-free, sulfate-free, shea soft and smooth shampoo. I'm, it's not in there today, oh. but. That's your normal stuff, I can tell. That's your stuff. This is Pantene. I mean. This is Pantene. 
No, I can smell Pantene. That's Pantene. Yeah. 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 I rotate that. a lot, you guys. This is something that I really like if I am wearing my hair naturally curly. Silicones can weigh down your curls. And, and cones. But it's a frizz, defy, and moisture shampoo. It has shea butter, agave nectar, and coconut oil. My favorite thing is the scent. Mm. And I wish I had brought the conditioner I because I feel like you can smell it even more. Conditioners always have like the... Stronger, mm -hmm. yeah. It smells like cake battery, vanilla. It's so funny because I don't... The things that I like on my hair, I feel like scents are so different. Like the things that I like are super salon smelling products yeah. or super coconutty. I just love cakey, sweet, bakery, sugary, yummy deliciousness. I just... Mm. My favorite shampoo and conditioner right now are the Tresemme ones because I love how summery coconut they smell. Yeah. If you guys saw me wearing pink hair, <laughs> wearing pink hair, rocking pink hair, whatever. This is the Bright Make Me Pastel. This is the pink conditioner. What I would say is you can get the shampoo and the conditioner, but I've had just as good of results using just the conditioner. So the reason so much of it's gone is that I oh, it used it. Good. I used it on dry hair. So it says that you can, if you already have pink hair, it's a way to keep the pink up. But if you have light blonde hair like this, then you can just apply it to dry hair and it will, you know, tent it and it stays for like, I would say three or four washes. Like it's it was pretty good. so much on there. Yeah. It's like, hi there, babe. I'm totally nourishing conditioner with a soft touch of pink color. Babe. Use gloves. If you don't want your nails tinted and the skin around your fingers tinted, I use some gloves from a hair dyeing kit that I had that came with like extra pairs. Those came with a lot. Yeah, it did. And I just leave them by my tub when I want to use it so that I can like not stain. That's good for purple shampoo too because yeah. that stains my it gets hands. It all over too. my hands, especially if I use Kristen S stuff. Yes, the Kristen S stuff yes. will dye my hands. Yes. I haven't used that in forever. Yeah. I have a dirty favorite. You're like, what? what? These are my favorite shoes right now. These are Vans. And they're not just any Vans. They are the Latte. Is it Latte? Frappe. Frappe color. Mm -hmm. And they are so dang cute because I felt like, and not to knock the black and white ones, because I do like the black and white ones, but they're very race car, funky, edgy. And these are understated. These almost give me like a, I'm wearing a Louis Vuitton handbag on my, <laughs> on my feet. Like, I really like them. Yeah. She's a worn lot. them so much, you guys. As much as my white quilted ones. Hold on, wait for it. I actually think I talked about that in our... May favorites. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. She loves me. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Did you like that? No. No. Those are so dirty, Tracy. Mine. Yes. So are yours. I know. But what about mine's so dirty? Because the side of them. Oh, look, they're cracking. It's good thing I bought backups. Whatever. I love them. I wear them all the time. Love. I didn't wear these today, but you know they're dirty when they get that little foot gumminess right there? I don't know what that is. And then it gets on your foot and it rolls off on your foot. I don't know what that is. Oh, you don't wear socks with yours. Ew. No, I don't wear socks with these. You can't really. Uh uh. I'm wearing socks with mine. Those don't do all socks. I love those shoes. All right, guys, those are all the things that we feel like, oh my God, you should go check out because they're so worth it. You will not be disappointed. We love these things so much. Don't forget to check out Scentbird. Use our code ELG30 if you want to check out. percent off. A fragrance for $10. You guys, you get so much in that thing. I can still smell my that spray. It's like a month's worth of perfume, I believe. Mmm, the candy. Mm, I love it. I just want to eat it. We're also going to have the links to our back to school giveaway and the Instagram giveaway if you guys want to vote for us for the boutique award. You want to. It would mean so much to us. <laughs> yeah. We would preach. It'd be yeah. awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, click subscribe, all of those things, and we'll talk to you guys in a video super soon. We sure dang will. Bye, bye. bye guys. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, you can click the video on the right. And if you missed our previous video, you can click the video on the left. And if you still haven't subscribed, you can click that circular channel icon and it'll sub you right up.